Now, I get many requests for flies, and uh, I can't tie them all, but th this fly basically got my attention due to the fact that I'm going to be using the tail feathers from a partridge. Now, I haven't used these in any of the videos, so uh, and it's an ideal pattern to show you them. I'm going to be using the cinnamon coloured, which are at the back, these ones here. Now, you need to take a right and a left one from either side of the tail, and I'm going to be using the speckled one as well. I've read about one or two in my desk. Now, basically what I do is just pull them off. There you go. Okay, so it's your right and your left side of the cinnamon. Now, they are a fiddly feather to use. The, the quality is usually all over the place. You can use the inner side, right and left, or the outer, depending on how good they are. Now, on these feathers, on the other feathers, uh, they're a bit you can use the right and the left side. Now you've got a smaller one you've been using, you can see there. It's a nice mark, you got a right and the left side, so you don't need a right and the left feather. So I'm going to be using that, but what I'd probably do is just take away the rubbish at the bottom and then use these up. And that's it. For the hackle, I'm going to be using this natural, the natural brown cock, which I asked for. And then I'm going to be using the brown partridge. The, feather, just the normal standard brown partridge feather. Now, first thing I'm going to do is zoom in a bit better so you can see what I'm doing. Thread, I'm going to use the rusty brown thread, in this case the Uni 8 0 just going to run the wax through. Now this fly is a wet fly, it's normally fished in the middle or top dropper. You, you could uh, as well use it as a dry fly, you could tie it to suit a dry fly because it's perfect for a dry fly pattern. Now this hook I'm using, this is a full mill hook, it's the medium, it's an all purpose medium hook, size 12. The rip I'm using is a flat tinsel, you could use a wire, gold wire, it's a gold tinsel. Just going to tie this on the way down. Now the body, I'm using the hairs here. Now there's the, the ears there. Now what I normally like to do is I like to pull the dubbing away and it blends within my fingers now. You've got to just keep pulling to get enough dubbing for the body. You could cut it away and blend it but I prefer just to tear it away to get enough dubbing for each fly. There we are. Dub's really easy. Just lightly onto the thread. Slide it up, and then we start to form our body. Just tighten up when we need to. Now there's two hackles and two wings, there's, which is unusual with this fly as well. So give yourself plenty of room at the head. We're about probably three mil from the eye. Bring your rib up. Guys, they do a straight turn at the back, and then I'll work my way through round about four five turns. Catch it in, nice and tight. Trim away. Just make sure there's wax on my thread. Now I'm just going to brush out some of the, the dubbing, just using the velcro. Watch your thread, move your thread out of the way. Roll this towards the back. Two hackles. Now, just remove the fluff. It's a wee black one, this bit. Oh, it's okay. Tie this in. Oh. Nice and tight. Now you're looking, depends on how good the, the hackle is. You know, three, three tons or so. Let me fold it back, use my hackle pliers, run it through my fingers. Fine. Two, three turns. Stroke this back with a couple of turns and then we can break away the tip. Just run my fingers through it here just to draw the fibres back. And then we got a partridge hackle. Now you're only looking for a couple of turns of this. So I'm going to take away quite a bit of the hackle fibres and then again using my 
crackle plies here and we need to locate the tip of the partridge feather and then draw back the fibres trim the length about a mil, mil and a half catch this in make sure there's wax in your thread make sure that's tied in just catch the these hackle pliers draw these back just as I did with the, the cock hackle depends on how good the hackle is really nice straight turns so a couple of turns is enough cross put a ninth degree bend into the, the stem of the feather always keep the thread tight and then trim away It'll wax on the thread. Now that's a good fly, it's a good spider itself. Spider is a fly recognised without a wing, so hence the name, spider. Now, see that's tidy. Got the cinnamon. Two feathers we had. I'm going to take a right and a left side. Don't want it too big. Cinnamon colour's nice. So we got a nice slip on the other side. Now it's going to pick up both ends, both right and left side. Just lay them flat on the feather, flat like that. So you're seeing the underside of the feathers. I'm just bringing the tips towards one another. And I say this is an underwing, so. Length and under wing. Paste them just to the back of the hook. Bring them together. Pinch and loop. Now I may have to go back. I like to sometimes catch it in and then take go back. Sometimes it will sit better. Sometimes you're lucky and it sits like that. And I'm lucky so I'm just going to keep it like that. I'm happy with the shape. The way it's sitting. Then trim away the waist. Then get the I've got the partridge the tail feather again, taking the right and the left. Not too long, not too wide. Take the right and the left side. Again, I'm going to hold both together and I'll just pick the one off my desk. Just line up the tips. So you've seen the underside of the feather again, both the right and the left side, just bring them together. Got the feathers there, so just pull them to the back. They want them slightly longer. Should have lined up, hold them down either side of the wing. Pinch and loop on top. Two or three. It's not it's a quite a tight well, I wouldn't say it's a an easy fly to tie this. I'm just checking the length. Now, your side is slightly too long, so what I'm going to do is go back. It's easy to go back. And then just I'm lifting the feather, it's just stuck to my finger a wee bit. So I'm just going to take it back. Again, just go back in. Just be patient with the feather or the fibre. Let's see how it looks. That's fine. So we've got wax on the thread again. So. Couple of turns. That stops the thread turns coming slack when you put the wax on. Gives you a wee bit more strength and it grips the, the fibre. And what I'm doing here is just tidying up. Take your time. And these fibres. Chasing one here. It's always a fibre that doesn't want to get as it's told so anyway once I get there I take the thread to the eye and then I cut these thread turns into the cut ends of the partridge and the wing and that there basically holds them really tight and then I can come in and let it finish now it's not the neatest looking fly in the world but it's a very fishy fly 
I can easily see this catching many fish. So where your thread once you're finished. Just tidy things up. Now I'm going to put a coat of varnish on the head. Just be careful you don't want to touch the, the feathers. Just touch the head with the, in this case I'm using the brush to apply the varnish. Use a, your dubbing needle or whatever you like. And there you go. Now, as I say, I've got a couple of pictures of the book and the fly itself. It's just they're originally tied by a Robert Thomas Jones uh, in the, the late 40s, so I hope you enjoyed that. And give it a go. Good fun to tie. <laughs>